In today's lab, we will be looking at the process of fermentation. Fermentation is a metabolic process by which certain organisms extract energy from carbohydrates in the absence of oxygen. Throughout history, wine has been one of the premier products of fermentation. Other common goods produced from fermentation include bread, yogurt, and cheese. In this experiment, we will be assessing the fermentation process used to make wine. Specifically, we will be making apple wine. The apparatus for this experiment include apple juice, yeast, glucose, sugar, and a sealed container to facilitate the fermentation process. To a 2-liter beaker, add apple juice, glucose, and sucrose. We then add a small amount of lime juice to add some flavor. To this mixture, we then add 2 tablespoons of fast-acting yeast and seal the beaker with plastic wrap. The beaker was then stored in a cool, dry place for two weeks. During this two-week period, during this two-week period, a chemical change took place. The yeast broke down the sugars in the mixture and produced ethanol and carbon dioxide. Ethanol is commonly known as alcohol. This alcohol gives the wine its familiar taste. After two weeks, we take the mixture and filter using the filtration technique we covered in previous videos. The filtration technique should produce a clear, final product. However, in the wine industry, more advanced methods of filtration are used. So the question is, how do we store the wine and will it not spoil? Well, no, it will not spoil. This is because alcohol is poisonous to bacteria and other spoilage-causing microorganisms. Therefore, the alcohol produced by the yeast during the process acts as a preservative for the wine. This allows the wine to be stored for years. In fact, in Italy and France, where the best wine in the world is produced, wines are left for up to 50 years to attain even more flavor. In fact, in Italy and France, where the best wine is produced, a bottle of the finest wine can cost up to 10,000 US dollars or 1.5 million Jamaican dollars. Thanks for watching.